Hey guys, today is January the 15th of 2023, and I want to do a quick update on the dollar. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So let's assume, uh, using early wave theory, this is a 1, 2, this is a 3, and we're working on a 4 on the weekly chart, and that there's a wave 5 in the future. There's two cycles that are confirming that theory. Uh, one is the uh, 395 cycle. This one is bullish all the way to uh, December of 2023, somewhere around there. The next one is the uh, 227. This one hits a peak around July uh, 31st of 2023, around there in July. Uh, and the uh, one that is bearish is a uh, 181 cycle. This one peaked somewhere around November 21st. And the dollar peaked on uh, September 28th. And this cycle is down. So, a couple of things just to uh, have a mental note that if this is a wave four and we're going up, there's two cycles confirming it. So, there's two bullish and one cycle bearish. The strongest cycle is the bearish one, the 181. Uh, but Keep those other two cycles in mind. Let's look at the daily uh, chart and see what we could extract there. So here's a daily cycle. and There's uh, one important cycle here. And I'm doing it a little different here. I'm back testing some things. And uh, this one is a 10-year. So I'm using 10-year uh, worth of data sample. And the uh, strongest one here is a 221 cycle. See that it peaked here. And this one is bottoming out. Uh, at the end of January, uh, pretty much around the 20th. Remember that day, the 20th? Uh, it could probably be a little earlier, 18, 19, around there, but it's in that ballpark. And the dominant cycle is this uh, fractal one, which is 41. This one is bottoming out, too. You can see it down here also, around the 20th. Actually, the dominant cycle hits the 20th, uh, and this is a little off. If you take the dominant cycle and the uh, 221 and do a composite, this is kind of like the projection you get. So that's what the daily cycle is. So we're very close to a bottom. It looks like there's going to be a turning point. So if this is a way four, we're probably in that ballpark where we're going to get a nice you know, turning point and a spike up. So this is our seasonality chart on the dollar. Percent of months in which the U.S. dollar closed higher than it opened from 2019 to 2023. You can see using the five-year, uh, February, March are the strongest. One to ten-year, you can see that February is the strongest, and March comes in second. Uh, going 15, February, March. February still remains the strongest. January is kind of flat. And 20 years, February uh, is the strongest. Using our other seasonality chart, another day you want to keep an eye on is we're using the five year, 10 year, and a 15 year average. The one you want to keep an eye on is uh, February 1st. It looks like we kind of uh, go sideways to lower here, and then somewhere around February 1st, things just start changing, and 5, 10, and 15 year average start slowly grinding higher. Okay, so this is my Elliott Wave chart. There's a few things I wanted to show you here. So on the monthly chart, this is a Wave 3, 4, and we just uh, did a Wave 5 in September. We have pulled back now to the 50%, which is at 101.96, and we are below the 20, the 50, the 100, and the 200. We put a trend line, our, our linear regression challenge, you can see that we fell out of bed and uh, was below that. So it's a little sign of weakness, and stokes are negative. Uh, we go to our weekly chart. You can see that this is a one, two, three, and we're working on a way four. Uh, so far, hasn't confirmed it yet. So if there's more downside. Uh, keep an keep an eye on the sixty one point eight, which is that ninety eight. You're below the twenty, the fifty, and if we put some of our uh, indicators here, we're at support, and this is the ellipse. Keep an eye on, uh, you know, February the 10th and also the uh, 3rd. 
Remember the uh, the seasonality where things just start, you know, starts trending higher. Uh, so keep that on your radar. Let's see if we get this out of the way. Yeah, so it's, um, it's it could push lower, but let's see if the uh, center of gravity holds it. Uh, looking at the daily, you can see that we hit a wave five here and we're in a correction or a, a, a wave down one, two, uh, three. So doing, using the daily count, it could probably go four and then five and then do a trend uh, reversal. Uh, but that remains to be seen. So let's see how this week goes in regards to the dollar. It finds support here. You know, maybe a dead cat bounce and then a final one to do a wave five and then maybe turn. So looking at the Astro chart, you see that the dollar peaked around 114 on September the 28th. And the sun is about to do 114 days on January the uh, 20th. So keep an eye on that. There's a lot of things going on. 114 right here. We're around the uh, 101 hovering, which is the 50% center of gravity off the uh, 135 degree, the 90, 45. But just in case this doesn't hold or it does, and then we, you know, we go up and do a wave four on the uh, daily chart and then push final for wave five. If that wave five is going to be 98, that's what I'm watching. Everything to line up to that 98. So January 20th is going to be uh, important. Also the 31st. There's other things lining up there. Uh, and we also, uh, uh, Sun is going to be crossing over um, Pluto. She's down here. So interesting to keep on your radar. Those uh, dates. Uh, and it were pretty much the last week of January for a possible turning point. But if you want to narrow it down in regards to a GANS technique of a, of a price and time interchangeable, uh, January 20th is the day you want to keep an eye on.